Hello, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. It has been two, over two months since I've done an episode of the Outer Worlds. We are in the end. We are locked into the ending. I cannot go back. I can't do anything else. Um, I'm a little terrified because I remember how difficult this was. And also, now I'm scared because I'm locked into the end and I don't actually remember very much of how to play the game. So that's going to be fun, but I think that I am as ready as I'll ever be. So might as well just jump right in. Yeah, it's been... It's, it's been a while. Okay, um... I'm pretty sure this is where we left off. Yeah, we should be on the prison planet, I believe. I think they call it Tartarus. Which, you know, Greek god prison, so... It's fitting. It's very apropos. Yeah, I remember nothing of how to play this game. So, we're going to be in for an interesting time. Yeah, it's... Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been like two months. I was actually kind of worried that this series would never get finished. I was like, you know? I'm like, I think this is kind of the end of it. Like, nobody really wants to see this. Everyone else wants to see, like... Oh my gosh, Minecraft. Minecraft is driving me crazy because that's what everyone wants. Okay, so where... I am on my ship... Um, you know, since I'm locked into the game, I might as well see if I can upgrade anything. Okay. Modify. Which games do- er, games. Which weapons do I actually have equipped? I believe these two- no. Is it Tinker? Repair. Break down. I could break that down because I don't use those. Inferno Scythe. I don't really use those either. It's so hard because I don't know what I'm actually... Okay, that's my inventory. So what do I have? The Euthanasia Kit. Uh, Salvager's Helper. Okay, that's the Acid one. I have an assault rifle and oh the plasma cannon. I remember that's my favorite. Okay, so I actually have a lot of energy rounds. Good. That is good news. Ooh, okay, they have perks. How many? She's got one. Uh threat generated. That might not actually be bad. Uh plus five to armor rating. Equip time, range reload. Huh. Um, I need that one for her. I think I have several companions that actually have perks available. Okay, um, Nioka, I tend to try to do more damage with. Parvati. I never travel with Parvati. Um, that might not be bad. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do armor rating for her. Oh gosh. Okay. I most certainly never travel with the vicar. Let's see. Uh, might as well. If I have him with me, he might as well be useful. Okay, and then Sam's all the way upgraded. I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any points. You know, I want to know how many levels is like are actually possible to gain. Because I don't have very many skills. Like, I'm at level 30, 
And that's about as high as I got last time. I think I only got to like level 32. Um, why are you being that baby? <laughs> I don't know what her deal is. Okay, um... Where are the weapons I'm... Andromeda! Stop it. Don't give me that look. Okay, uh... Okay, I'm definitely... Okay, so those are the ones that I'm using. Oops. Okay, um... I'm just gonna upgrade these, like, many times. Pretty much since I'm not gonna be spending my money on anything else. Uh... I really like this gun. Uh, okay, and then armor... No, what am I doing? Yes, armor to tinker with. Let's see. Okay, that is definitely the helmet I'm using. Holy crap. Okay, I've already upgraded that armor, I can tell. Okay. Do I feel at all ready to do this? No. No, I don't. Oh boy. Um, how does one... Okay. Slowly coming back to me. Okay, who do I have? I have Felix and Sam. You know? Yeah. Those two are probably the easiest to deal with. Because Sam doesn't really talk too much. And he does a lot of damage. And, I don't know, Felix is... He's okay. He, he doesn't have, like, a very grating presence. So, you know what? You know what? He's good. Hi, Rom. Did you come to see me? Did you come to see Mama? Yes, I know. I know. I love you. Yep, so this is Tartarus. This is the uh, the prison. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm kind of terrified. I'm going to die. I think I've only died like two or three times in this playthrough. And mostly it was my own stupidity, so. Okay, dokey. Oh boy. Okay, well, you know, uh, there's no time like the present. Oh, gosh. Okay, so where am I going that way? Oh, okay. Do I have anything? Uh, inventory. This is probably the worst time to realize. I got rid of pretty much anything that would help my TTD, so... Inside, uh, yes. Okay. The captain did right by us once. Now it's the board will never Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know who's shooting at who and who's si like whose side people are on. Okay. Come here, you guys. Oh boy. Heavy ammo. Cartridges. Some more ammo. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I really don't know who's on whose side. Oh, and of course we're about to run out. Oh boy. Are you new here? I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can lie. I was hired to test... Uh, okay, yeah, I was hired to test your security procedures. Congratulations, you passed. Yeah, what's it to you? Are you... Talking while on shift? Okay, um... You know, uh, persuade. Oh, no. Don't tell anyone, please. Everyone gets one mistake, just don't do it again. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so we passed. Looking good, soldier. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get in the elevator. How long last on the surface? Area sanitization assessment. The labyrinth on <laughs> Task classification. Uh -huh. Easy, easy. Sam, you are so interesting. I love Sam. How long is this elevator ride? Oh boy, okay. 
I'm assuming as soon as I step... Oh, no. Lead the way, boss. I got your back. Where am I going? Okay, so I need to get all the way th through. It's like my time to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Uh, is there like a ladder or something? Okay, essentially I need to get just all the way back over there. So I'm going to save real quick. Because I don't want to go through the upper part. Okay. So... I think I'm going to make a... I think I'm just going to make a beeline for it. Oh? Um, what? What is that? Can I go around that way? No. No, I can't. Is... I'm assuming I'm going to come out up there at some point? What? What is this? What is this? Okay, so that's straight down that way. Oh. We're gonna, we're gonna pop in here real quick. Oh, that's just the same way. Okay, back up here, back up here. Okay. You fools! Okay, they're not listening. Okay. So we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna walk like we belong here. Oh gosh. See, this is where it gets tricky because I get stuck on all this equipment. And yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, and ladders do take up my... I remember this. Oh, I remember this. This is- this is bad. This is- this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. Take everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this has me nervous. Okay, um, vending machine, uh, what is that, yes, I just want all of that, okay, Rizzo's, I need that, oh, there's more, I'm pretty sure that these guys have a markup, yep, I have a 5% markup with these guys, so buying all of it. Oh, that's pricey. Um, how much of this do I have? I probably have a lot of that. Mm. Okay. Uh, can I sell anything? Hmm. All these weapons that I'm not using. Okay, I'll keep those ones. Might as well get rid of all the armor that I'm not using. Except for those ones, because I like those ones. <laughs> uh, might as well keep all that stuff. And, okay, all of this. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's more. Um. That was weird. Okay, my game's actually starting to lag. I've never had a lagging problem on my PlayStation. Okay, we're gonna save again. Okay, save. Resume. Okay. Hold and transition to the pit. Yeah, I remember this place. This is uh, not so bueno if you're like me and have snuck onto the... Well, snuck into the prison. Mimi, what do you want? Why must you all come see me? Why? Why? Go away. 
No, no, that doesn't mean climb in my chair. That means go away. You know, I'm really surprised that this game actually doesn't have more traction than it does, because it's a pretty good game. It's not as, like, open as Fallout, which I was really mad when I first played this game, because they did actually, like, market it kind of as the new Fallout. Oh. Oh, yeah, huh. Oh, I... Oh, I remember the problems. I had so many problems when I first played this game, and I'm, like, remembering all of them, like, PTSD. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so I'm up here. I just love how they automatically teleport up here because then I don't have to worry. Okay, now here comes the problem. Because now I need to get all the way over there, pretty much doing the same roundabout thing that I just did. Let's go, yeah. troops. Stellar base counting on us. Oh no. Oh no, Zora's here. Oh gosh. Um, I was ha you know, well, we're, ju we're just gonna lie and intimidate and whatever. Much appreciated. I'll get out of your way. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So, Zora is here with the rest of the iconoclasts. So, they're fighting now, which is distracting them from me. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Wait, what? What is... The pit exit? What in the Sam Hill am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, make your way through Tartarus and confront the person who runs the board operations, Sophia Akande. Oh, gosh. So where am I supposed to be going now? And, of course, there's a block. Yep, okay, so the Iconoclasts are here... Where the Am I supposed to be in there? Oh gosh. Not good, not good, not good for me, not good for anyone. Oh. Lawbreaker, I hold it. Something about you doesn't look right. I almost fired, I almost fired. Uh lie, I know I haven't been feeling well. Yeah? You're not contagious, are you? Yes, I'm going to infect everyone. Cough violently. Hey, keep your distance. I don't want to get sick. Then go away. Okay, so my shielding is back up. Okay, which... This... Oh, crud. It was right there the whole time. Okay. Um, unseal the door. Ah, the chairman. Well, look who it is. Hey, don't fire your sister. Be I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. This guy is a complete I see jerk. The kid along. Babysitters may be expensive, but they're worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, pal. I'll just keep thinking of a place to bury your body. And, oh, uh, I had heard you were dragging around a repurposed janitorial mechanical. So yeah, that'll My change depend on who you bring. Pile of refuse. Interactive oh. database oh. updated. The unique organic substance labeled Chairman has been classified <laughs> as... Oh, God, Mimi! Imminent for yeah. incineration. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is the chairman, and he was fully in favor of a plan to cryogenically freeze most of the population because there's a food shortage. And instead of actually trying to fix the food shortage, he's like, we're just gonna freeze all these people except for a small portion, and then we're gonna rotate them out to limit how much food they're using. 
I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't like that. Okay, so yes, this is Chairman Rockwell. You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. I want to shoot him in his face right now. I wonder what Phineas saw in you. Then again, he's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. Not for long. Yeah, he would rather die than cooperate. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Okay. Yeah, that no. That crackpot is saving the frozen colonists. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, going all the way back to the very, very beginning, the chairman is the one who decided to kind of quote unquote lose the hope, the ship that we came in on. So they've been out and out about floating in the aether for like 70 years because he couldn't fix the food shortage. So he's like, I'm just going to let them drift off into space forgotten because I can't do my job. Uh, yeah, so he's saving the frozen colonists. Oh, yes. Go on. Wake them up. Add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? Are you kidding? <sighs> We're out here trying to clean up your mess. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization. I want to keep talking about this. <laughs> You're just getting in the way. No, he doesn't want recovery, and... Phineas's point, the, the mad scientist, his point was that by thawing out the people on the Hope, because the people who came over were like doctors, engineers, kind of like the best and brightest, so he's hoping that by thawing them and pretty much having the best minds available that they could actually save Halcyon instead of just letting it go to hell. Uh, you know, I wouldn't do- I wouldn't have to if you'd be more cooperative about this. You know, the thought honestly hadn't crossed my mind of just trying to help. You'd prefer to keep riding this downward spiral. Yeah. Yeah, the downward spiral, because, yeah, the last thing is I can fix this place, because, yeah, that's what we were trying to do! If I and my people can ride it out in luxury and happiness, yes, yes, I would. I don't know if you've noticed, Captain. But Halcyon's pretty much a lost cause. Okay, so yeah, that was his thing because he... Like, the people that would remain thought out were, like, the elite. And then, like, a few of the working class to pretty much just keep the wealthy in the lap of luxury. And, like, kind of to hell with the rest of them. Okay, so I can't lie. I can't intimidate him. But I can persuade him. Uh, with your resources and some of the folks on the Hope, we could do a lot. I'll admit, there's no shortage of talent and See. scientists and engineers there. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive... <sighs> I can't exactly afford more havoc than what <laughs> cost. Yes, I, I have been wreaking havoc if everywhere. You survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. That better be you, or I'm gonna kill you. Rockwell's the biggest monster in Halcyon. You got any idea how many lives he's destroyed? How many people he's hurt? I've had enough. You even think about cooperating with this, oh. this animal? And you and I are finished. Ah, uh, Felix! <sighs> Crap. Okay, so if I side with Rockwell right now... I lose Felix. I don't know if I need Rockwell or not. I didn't study for this test. I guess I'm gonna pick Felix, but dang, I, I do need somebody on the board. You're damn right it is. Uh, don't get sassy with me. If you're gonna place more faith on this brat than the chairman of the fucking colony, then there's no hope for you. Go get yourself killed. Can I kill you now? No, he's just gonna stand there. 
Um, okay, so... That way. Yeah, he doesn't even do anything. Like, he just stands there. He's like, oh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's reset. I'm actually... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reset in here and then go back around. Nope. Okay. Scratch that. Okay, do you mind? Do you mind, idiot? Oh, Felix! Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this to auto bring them up here. Felix! You done did failed. Oh my gosh. Why are you like this? Oh no, oh no. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm not one for rousing speech. Oh, it's Sanja! <gasps> yes! Yes! Sanja Nandi, he's here! Oh, I love that guy. I love that guy, he's great. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Felix is actually. Okay, why can't Sam do his special attack? Okay, both of them can't do their special attacks. And I don't know why. Oh, I'm... I'm dying. Really? This time it was to the middle? Oh, crap. Oh! There that guy goes. That was... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how to crouch. Oh, wait. Friendly? Oh, that's MSI. I was like, friendlies? Okay. Why do I keep running past the areas I need to be? It's just because I'm not paying attention. Like, at all. Hello, MSI. Lovely to see you. This is why it pays to make friends. You ain't feeling jittery, are you? Because I'm not. Difficult job ahead? Consider equipping a pack of Sam's oh special my gosh. Sting Out Remover. It's ruthless on residual blood Oh, sweat. he's... Captain. Oh, there she is. You have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. Yep, you glad to help. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. It's what I do. You've introduced uncertainty. And there yes. is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Oh, she must hate me. It's over, Sophia. Stand down. We're liberating Halcyon. There's not a damn thing you can do to stop us. You sure love talking. Do they pay you by the floor? You know what? Sassy. I love it. Typical. Running your mouth in the middle of a crisis. You know? It's almost as if you delight in chaos. Yes, I more chaos, Gremlin. a long time ago. You were always too dangerous to leave unchecked. I don't remember this chick except for, like, maybe, like, the last two episodes? Uh, can we hurry things along? I've got a colony to save. Ah, oh, stop, you're making me blush. You're all bluster and empty threats. Can we hurry this along? Leaving you alive was my greatest mistake. But it is a mistake I intend to correct. She's monologuing. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, Good luck I with can that. move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't test me. It's bad for your health. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of Oh, you. come on. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. Leaving you alive is too great a risk. Goodbye, Captain. Okay, who's coming for me? Uh, yeah, I'm rescuing Phineas, and I'm going... <laughs> yep. I had a feeling you'd say that. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical oh, warden. I've had it programmed warden. to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. I remember this. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. He is right there. Oh, oh this is bad. This is really bad. Because you have to be, like, level 100. Okay, that's sealed. This way. Oh. oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. 
Okay. Yeah, because this way... Yep, you have to be level 100 to get through there, and then there's like a terminal. Ugh. I could not win the fight with him last time. I had to, um... I actually had to go back and reset my skills. Oh boy. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? I got up to 91. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? Defense skills. Stealth skills. Leadership skills. Can I make it up to level 100? What was that? Okay, some mind attributes. Oh, can I do this? Can I do this? Nope. Highest I can get is level 91. I officially hate myself right now. Okay, so my board reputation is scared. I'm kill on sight. <laughs> Although it's weird that it's scared. <laughs> Although then again, you know, CMP is angry. Okay, so, yep, yeah, nope, mm -mm, can't get through there. <sighs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, gosh! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is bad. Oh, I'm I'm about to die. Um Yeah, there we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Watch this! Oh gosh, okay, that that didn't do anything. How... How do I fight this guy? How do I... Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, Felix is down, Felix is down, Felix is down. Oh, and there's more things. Where... Oh no, oh no, that locked. That locked on me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just completely foobarred that. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, here's to the beginning of the end. Why do I even have this weapon? I don't even like this weapon! No, not that one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, what is that thing completely impervious to like everything? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How have I lived this long? Oh, oh, there's there's a door here. Okay, yeah, my companions are completely downed. Oh boy. This, this maybe. Oh, Felix is up. Oh, and there's Sam. And they're back down. How? Okay, okay, okay. I downed one. Okay, come on. Okay, that's two.
I hate these combat drones. Okay. Okay. That's two. The three, four, however many. Okay. Oh gosh. Sam, I almost shot you. Oh, how many more things are there? Okay, thank you. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so, oh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, they've stuck me down. Okay, if I die because I just got stuck. Okay. Heal. I'm so glad that I didn't actually use all of my inhalers. Oh gosh. Because the inhalers are pretty much the only reason I'm alive at this moment. They're the worst! I have like a hundred and something of those, so... Come on! My reload game is subpar, to say the least. Oh, Ugh! I really hate this. Okay, there's Sam. There's Felix. Okay, we're wearing this guy down. Okay, you say that. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Can you, can you please? Okay, one of you. Like, one of you attack him, please! Okay, Sam definitely seems to be the most effective. Come on, come on. Okay, Sam's down. No, 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 no. You can down me! Or, no. You can down them, but you can't down me, because if I die, then everyone's dead. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Where do they keep coming from? Oh gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I will take as many of those as I need to. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just too stubborn to die. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, you wanna come in here? You wanna tussle? Okay. Okay, that one. Oh, you're in here. I can face the combat drones! Except for the fact that they keep moving. Like, they'll do the that, like, quick dodge. Okay. Who else? Who else? Okay. I have Sam and Felix back. Oh, 
There you go, Sam. Get it. Is he dead? Did I actually do it? Did I do it on the first try? Oh, I could cry. I am actually, like, legitimately so freaking happy right now. It- I rage quit the last time I played this. Save. Save now. <laughs> I'm going to regret my choice if I do not save now. Okay. I was like, I'm gonna have to go back to the ship, I'm gonna have to redo my skills, but nope. Oh, That. That should have been impossible. I don't even know how I did that. That was a freaking one take. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful here. Why won't you just die? Wow. Okay, I turned her to a, a pile of ashes. Chairman's key card. I'm just gonna reload that just in case. Hi, Phineas. What you doing? Why is it still sealed? Pull the lever. Because of course it had to be a two-step process. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Welcome back. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved and long overdue. I don't understand how she was higher than you, the chairman, you though. You lunatic. You broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. Yes, I yes, I am. I begin to thank you enough. <laughs> okay, uh, are you all right? What did they do to you? Are you kidding? The board, the board never stood a chance. You know I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Uh, yeah, the board never stood a chance. Ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony. And yes, you saved my life. I'm just amazing. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. Such as? You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. Uh-huh. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. That's usually how these things work. I don't like the sound of that at all. Great, and I was just about to pop open some drinks and celebrate. I'm not really in the mood for your theories, Phineas. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single uh -oh. message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. That's definitely not Two what you want to ago, hear. The Earth's directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Hold on, Doc. That sounds fun. Are you telling me the Earth went dark three years ago, and the board's just been covering this up? That's kind of terrifying, because that's like your lifeline. Concealing the truth. Right now, the only people in the colony who know are standing in this room. We're fun. in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. Uh -huh. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. So, the scenario that comes to mind is like, if you're doing like diving and you're connected to the ship above for like your oxygen and whatnot, like that would be like clamping that off and being like, okay, survive. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We'd best get started. Uh, I, I, yes, I want to see what I can certainly. ask him. I'll help however I can. Uh, what do you think happened? How do you know all this? How do you know all of this? I heard it from Akande herself. She tried to pressure me into joining her side, you see. Tried to make me realize that all hope is lost and that we are alone. So... She was half right. We are alone and we're going to have to fend for ourselves because True. there's no telling what's happened to Earth. Okay, uh... Yeah, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. Or maybe they we just no got rid of us. We have no to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. Maybe they just decided that we were operating at a total loss, and they're just like, okay, uh, see ya. Let's see, uh, you mentioned a frigate disappearing. You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. Oh, they were boy. returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't uh -huh. heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. 
and will likely never get any answers. Okay, so yeah, you said there haven't been any new messages from Earth. Yes, Akande mentioned as much. Earth hasn't sent us a single message in three years. No one knows why. Either Akande Earth had is kept gone. The truth to herself, perhaps with good reason. Can you imagine what would have happened if word got out? We'd have utter pandemonium. Uh, we had pandemonium no matter what. Uh, oh yeah, so we did go to the relay station near Scylla. So it hasn't picked up any uninscripted messages in three years. Yes, you were the one who reactivated that relay station, weren't you? <laughs> yes, any yes I was. Any message from Earth would have arrived unencrypted. It's been three years since our last message. The board yeah. tried using drones to contact Earth. Every one of those drones sent back the same encrypted message. Earth is completely silent. Okay, so yeah, no, Earth is probably just gone. Uh, there's something else I know about the other colonists. Okay, what about the other colonists? I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you. But after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Uh-huh. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Oh, that's lovely. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects oh boy. died in agony. You are my first and only success. I don't think I trust him. <laughs> I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. How many? You're a murderer and a liar. Well, that's true, but I mean, I... Better late than never telling me? I'm not asking you to forgive me. Law knows I won't forgive myself. But I'm going to try Ugh. to set things right. This falls under... My apologies. I need to get a hold the of The ends myself. justify the means. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. I'll answer as best I can. So this kind of falls under, like, the ends justify the means because he... He did experiment on several of the Hope's colonists, but without that, he wouldn't have been able to resuscitate me, and I'm the one who went through, like, the entire colony and pretty much got the ball rolling to save the colony. So it's like, are those, are the people he experimented on, are their lives worth the entire colony? Uh, moral dilemmas. Ugh. I just don't want to fight with them. Okay, so I've gone through all the questions. I don't have any more. We've got work to do. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting uh -huh. with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. Especially since this is We're the only place where leader, life can be. And I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? Do I want to become the leader? Somebody has to run this colony. I'm <laughs> the only confident person left. You know, you know, if I had Sanjar and Zora, like, I, we could make something of this. We could make a go of it. You can count on me. I'll help you retreat, or help you revive the other colonists. I'm going to do what I've always done, whatever I want all the time. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say you can count on me. Although then again, I do... I wouldn't want to run the colony. When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, yeah. you see. I did, like, 99% of the work. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If Aww. you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not Both a colony arrows. any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future this is, true. is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? Uh, also kind of terrifying? Is that... Lifetime employment program ruined. <laughs> chaos on Tartarus leaves bored in disarray. I am the chaos! It was me. Uh, okay, the, the OSI. Oh. That everything in the universe happens Did according I finish to the plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. It me. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, 
His actions altered the course of history. Okay, so it's saying he, about the end but the, the, the subtitles say she. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists... So yeah, this is just like the aftermath. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band yeah, together. Yeah, because now it's thrive or perish. ...the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded Where together was the with board, a though? purpose in mind. Survival. That's what I never understood. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation. But most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the, the colony was, gone. was responsible for its own destiny. Which it never had been before. Between MSI's yes. centric policies and the iconoclast manpower, <laughs> Sanjar and Zora. and Zora were able to rally many of the Terra 2 townships to their cause. MSI's workforce swelled, and the Iconoclasts enjoyed a significant surge in their ranks. The board was too distracted by infighting and internal politics to stop MSI from becoming a powerful yep. corporation and a refuge for townships that might have fallen through the cracks. Because MSI was, was like paranoia, independent of the Lydia board. Hagen took Sublight Salvage in a controversial direction. Openly accusing board officials <laughs> of an extraterrestrial. <laughs> it wasn't aliens! One day, an accident at the Groundbreaker's docking bay silenced her forever. Oh boy. Time would tell if her replacement could keep the Sublight family together. Oops. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as yes. the leader of Yes, Edgewater. we did this too. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town and those Fair. who stayed behind adapted to her way of life Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden the nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient so yeah she was the only life. one who could grow food in Thompson, the colony it was said that he lasted exactly two days outside the walls of Edgewater years later a marauder was found in possession of his hat can't Under seem the too sad about of that. Relay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The Sweet. ship's mechanical stability gave Junle the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. We helped the fix the ship. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms ah. with some uncomfortable realities. Finally, the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave so, them yeah. little choice in the matter. Byzantium was like the Nearly capital in the had Hunger to Games. Learn to make do with less, some even had to get jobs. Oh no! It was a dark time indeed. Perish the thought. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly. That she just might need other people. And that's because we Sometimes. finished her quests. With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Some of them were even legal. <laughs> I expected life that to be was sobering for Felix Millstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers. I loved Felix. He was like my was favorite. To be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. As much as he enjoyed his adventures, didn't like Max. The unreliable. The vicar, known as Max, eventually decided that it was time to move on. 
to live out the life he had sought so long to create. He knew there were many in the colony who carried burdens much worse than the ones he had struggled with. This is like the longest ending. Easing their suffering wherever he could. He only ever took up arms again to defend the defenseless. But at least you get to see what Unsackled happened. from a lifetime of striving and fighting the universe and himself, Vicar Maximilian de Soto was finally at peace. I did that Once too. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker. And Parvati yeah. enthusiastically, yeah. if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. We played matchmaker the stories with of her Parvati. The stories spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having Ugh. served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and Jun Lei were never far apart. Neoko returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life Because of course herself. she did. She formed the Caron Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists <laughs> and wilderness experts. Sounds about Anyone right. in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories. Oh my gosh, Neoka. Find her camping on the trail. Neoka's a mess. An infestation. The sand you <gasps> that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in sand unit sales. Did you Sam's know the best that sand units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? That I believe. Mr. Go Mr. Sam! Mr. was released from house arrest, and his contact okay, good. with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. Yeah, he kind of got the shaft. As well, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. I still want to know how many people he In killed. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. So it was like 80 years Halcyon that they were frozen. A period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs and dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Good. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Still good. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed yeah. away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. He was pretty old when we met Today, him. Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable <laughs> in the history of Halcyon? I like that the unplanned variable. Long after variable. Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever Ooh, muster. Ooh, don't let him hear that. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists. The I think I was just like a medical tech. You. <gasps> Yay, I'm no the best and brightest. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. The name Rose will live on. All's quiet in Halcyon for now. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe we finished it! Honestly, I anticipated at least two more episodes. So yeah, that was it. We got the good ending. Wow, I'm... I am like so incredibly surprised that we finished it, but there it was! I actually made it through that fight in one go round. I'm not kidding. The last time I played, I actually had to there's a there's a little machine on the ship up like 
in the back, like the cargo area, you go up the ladder, you turn left, and you walk down that catwalk. There's a machine that resets all your skill points. So I had to go there, and I actually had to take everything away and just add it to, like, my, um, my social, like, my, um, perception, intimidate, persuasion, stuff like that. I had to add it all to that and lockpicking and pretty much cancel, like, everything out because when you open that door, if you can open that door right before you get to the RAN unit, you can actually shut it down instead of fighting it, which is obviously the easier choice because I had tried fighting it again and again and again and again and I kept dying and I was so angry that I just kept dying. So I had to reset my skills. So I didn't realize that part was coming up so fast or else I probably would have changed my skills. But it is very heartening to know that I actually got through it without the need for that. So yeah, and then we finished all of the endings for the companions, our six companions. Uh, we got their good endings. I didn't mess up with anybody. Uh, we did MSI and the Iconoclasts got together. That one was hard. Uh, trying to keep those people alive to do negotiations was a pain in the butt, but I did it. Um, I think... And like the... Uh, in Edgewater, where they made the gardens, because... Uh, I can't remember her name. Whoever that lady was. She is actually the only one who could figure out how to grow food on the colony, like, in the colony. So she was, like, really, really important to the, uh, the propagation of crops and the healing of the colony. So, yeah, had to go through all that. Which, some of these things, is it's so specific how you have to get to that, um, you have to get to that ending. So, I managed to just do everything specifically right. Which, man oh man. I am- I'm glad it's over. But dang. These are also long credits that I'm just kinda trying to talk through. This game really is good. This is my second playthrough and, you know, it's- it's definitely memorable. Like, the characters kind of stick with you. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, even though I don't love all of them, the companions are good characters. Like, Max and Parvati. Obviously, they had so much personality that I could decide whether I liked them or not versus, like, oh, this is just my little stooge that, like, you know, just does the work. You know, you have favorites, you have ones that you can't stand. Um... Their skills are pretty different. Like, you saw at the end, when I finally figured out how to use their individual attacks, like, Sam really came through. Uh, which was so incredibly helpful. And, you know, you have the chairman who you think is, he's the face of all the evil. But you never even get to know the board, which is really who the evil was. Like, I was trying to figure out, like, where is the board situated? Why, you know, they're like, oh, they have infighting. Where are they located? Because you never go, like, there's not a specific planet or, you know, base or anything that you go to that's like, oh, this is where the board is, this is where the board operates. You, you have none of that. So, I like it and I don't because the board is just some, like, faceless entity that you kind of just direct your anger towards, but it's like, okay, I really kind of would have liked to get to know them. Like, Akande, you know, you, I think, it was either the last episode or two episodes ago that we even actually learned of her. So, it's like, okay, why... Why was Akande even higher than the chairman in, like, all of this nonsense and mess? Like, 
to me, and because how the game portrayed it, the chairman, he's the chairman of the board. Like, he is the big, the bad, and the ugly. But then all of a sudden, in, like, this spin twist at the end, oh no, Akande is even worse than him. Like, why? So, good game. The ending's a little, little hazy. I mean... Some games are just kind of like that, but I would have been able, I would have liked to have gotten a little more backstory on how the board allowed things to go so far. Because literally, when you get woken up, you're are they're already in the descent. They're going, they're they're tipping over the edge down the hill. So, how did things get this far? Who authorized these th like? this stuff. Who came up with the idea? Because I don't think the chairman's smart enough to come up with all of it on his own. But, like, who was in charge of deciding, yeah, let's freeze all of the working class and then, like, just keep a few of them to work as slave labor to keep Byzantium going and to keep these people in the lap of luxury where they can enjoy, you know, their alcohol and their fine foods and their marble floors. It's like, who decided that? Because honestly, that man could not have come up with all of it on his own. And then Minister Clark is always seen on posters like with the chairman. So people hate him just as much. You know, they hate Minister Clark. Well, he's been on house arrest for like a really long time and really had nothing to do with it. So whose choice was that? Like, was it all the chairman? Because, you know, they keep talking about the board, the board, the board. So did the board have something to do with his house arrest? I just wish they would have cleared that up a little bit more. And no, I did... Obviously, you see the peril on Gorgon right now. I did not get to do either of those because it was like 30 bucks for the... Um, for peril on Gorgon. And there's another... There's another DLC for it, but... I, I would have had to do those in-game. Like, you can't just go back on a save file and be like, Okay, now I want to do Peril on Gorgon. And, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the other one. It's like... I want to say it's like a murder or something. But yeah, you can't just... I, I can't go back to my save file like right now and decide that I'm going to go back and do those. You have to do it at specific times in your current game. So, maybe in the future, if people... Oh my gosh, there's actually a reference to COVID in here. Wow, okay, gotta love that. Um, where was I going with that? <laughs> Lost my train of thought. But yeah, that's... Maybe in the future, I'll go back and do those if people want, like... I'd have to do an entirely new playthrough, but, I mean, it didn't take that long. I want to say this was episode 24? This is episode 24 or 25. So, it didn't take me too terribly long to actually get through it. But, for now, I think I'm going to take it off of my voting list on Discord, because my Discord members do get to vote on what game I play daily. So, yeah, it'll probably be off for now, just because I don't really feel like starting a third playthrough at the moment. But in the future, you know, totally might. Although, maybe in the future I'll actually do it on my laptop, because the PlayStation is fun, but I don't know. Maybe maybe trying it in a different format will just uh, make the experience a little more lively. Mimi, what are you doing? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. I can never pronounce the name of the planet. Is it like Eridanus or something? But yeah, didn't get to do that one either. These credits take forever. Is there a way to... There was a way to skip through the credits the entire time. Okay, well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, the last, like, 20 minutes has just been watching the ending and me rambling, but... Um, I hope it was interesting to somebody, but that is the end of this series for now on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
feel free, if this is your first episode of this that you've seen, feel free to go back onto my YouTube channel and go watch the rest of it, which my YouTube channel is linked on Twitch. And if you would like to vote on what game I play next, tomorrow, feel free to go join me on Discord, which is also linked on Twitch. But I will be back tomorrow with another episode of a different game. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys then. Bye!